Hey everybody, it's Jeff Coe here. Been a while since I talked to you last, and that's Mercy, <laughs> one of my dogs. Anyway, uh, been real busy, and that's why you haven't seen too much of me, but this is, this is why you haven't seen too much of me. So I've actually been building a shop, and uh, it's been going pretty good. Had a hard push before winter hit here to get the foundation in, the steel up, and also start getting the backfill done before everything froze, but we got that taken care of. So this is gonna be the home of uh, everything that you'll see built from here on out, um, hopefully anyway, and moving out of that plastic uh, Quonset hut that I had temporarily going and replacing it with this. So go ahead and kind of show you around at what I got going on here, and then we'll move on to the truck. So the shop is comprised of mostly steel and concrete. Uh, it's more or less a bunker. These are all 12 inch thick concrete walls. The wall at the far back there is 18 feet tall uh, to accommodate a retaining wall above. And then also I've got um, 12 foot five back here. So my overlander will fit in here. And then the ceiling that's right above me is actually 16 feet tall. So that'll accommodate a 16 foot tall car lift as well as bigger pieces of equipment and trucks. Uh, so I'll have 14 foot garage doors in here to allow them to come in. It's 55 foot deep and about 40 feet wide. And uh, the steel we got set last week, got that all taken care of and got it backfilled. Um, this center column here is eight by eight by five eighths of an inch thick. So it's pretty, pretty heavy. And the reason for all this steel and being so heavy is this is actually a two-story garage. So right now I'm in the lower level and uh, you drive into the shop from the north side and then when it's done, uh, this will all have concrete slab above it and that'll be a second garage. So the lower garage, the interior will measure uh, 38 by 54 and the upper garage will measure 30 by 40. So, or 38 by 30. So. Um, Two-story garage, that'll be where we park our cars. This is where we'll fabricate, build stuff, and uh, hopefully keep the channel going. So the real reason for this video is this right here. This is a 2005 Top Kick made by GMC. It's a 5500 model. And uh, I actually picked this up at an auction, got a really good deal on it. And the, the reason I bought this truck, first off, it's four-wheel drive. It's got a Duramax diesel engine. It's extremely heavy built. Um, great builder for my next Overland truck. And uh, it only had 21,000 miles on it when I bought it. So currently it's sitting at about 26,000 miles. And uh, I'll go ahead and tag a picture in here for you guys to see the day that I picked it up. And so since then, I've actually been using it a little bit for work. Um, however, I really hate to because it's so nice and clean, but I've used it a little bit for work. And then uh, I actually had some custom tires and wheels, well not, not custom tires, but custom wheels made for it and uh, wrapped it in some, some big Goodyear tires. So it's now sitting on about a 40 inch tire and uh, you know, it does highway speeds well. Um, it's very comfortable, it has air conditioning, has windows that roll up and down with power and a good heater. Um, it's just a good, comfortable truck and I thought it'd make a great platform for my next Overlander. All right, so battery went dead in the camera. So we're gonna go ahead and finish filming this out with the iPhone. I hope you guys can hear me all right. But anyway, what I ended up with was a Goodyear G275 and Mercy likes this tire a lot. She thinks it's a pretty good tire. And uh, then the wheel here is made by, oh, Mercy, okay, go, time for you to leave. All right, so the wheel is made by Stazworks. And uh, this wheel is an aluminum wheel. Um, it is, I think, based on an MRAP wheel. So this guy actually uses an MRAP uh, inner, and then he custom machines the outer here and uh, powder coats it, does everything in-house, all the machining, all the milling. Um, he also allows you to customize it. So you can have like different back sets with this wheel combo, um, pretty much completely up to you. So I went with this guy 
because I really liked the fact that there was no um, adapters required. This is kind of a weird lug pattern, this big eight lug like this. And, uh, and I also wanted a 20 inch wheel with a super single tire. So I got the Goodyear G275s, I got the custom wheels and uh, they split or split rim design essentially. So there's an O-ring in here and then you remove all these bolts and the two halves come apart. So if you had to change one um, on the side of the road, you definitely could. The hardest part would be getting it aired back up because we did have to use a Cheetah. Uh, for you, those of you that don't know, it's, a, it's essentially a propane tank uh, with a large air nozzle on it that just jets a huge volume of air into a tire to set a bead. So we did have to use the Cheetah to set the bead on this, but um, you know, all in all, I'm really happy with it. It's a, it's a great looking tire wheel combo and uh, performance wise, it's been doing really well. Um, I've only put about 50 miles on these, on these tires, but uh, they ride pretty smooth considering I have balancing beads in there. Since they're so big, they're about 40 inches tall, but with the balancing beads, um, they, they seem to do all right. So I've drove this truck up to 70 miles an hour already roughly, and uh, no real complaints other than some power loss, which was expected with something this big. And then uh, also another thing that I did, which I don't know if you'll be able to see through the camera, but I siped these tires. So you can, I don't know if you can see right behind my thumb there, how there's grooves now cut in this tire. And uh, I'll, add a, I'll add a little clip in for you guys to see of the siping process, but I siped these for snow traction. So as you can kind of see around me, it's, it's not great weather and we have more winter than we do summer here in Colorado. So I wanted to have them siped. So if we decide to go ice fishing or do something in the winter time that we've got adequate traction to get us to and fro safely. Jake, I have to tell you, I might put this on YouTube. <laughs> now you may put it on your feet. <laughs> So that's gonna sum it up for today, guys. Um, just kinda wanted to show you what I had going on. Just been really busy. That's the main reason why I haven't been filming much and uh, I haven't had a truck to build, but now I do. So this is the new addition to the family, 2005 GMC Top Kick 5500. And then uh, as well as my new shop, which is gonna be a real game changer in the fact that I'm gonna be able to build this out in a good environment and take my time. Um, on the note of taking my time, I think that this truck will take me a lot longer to build than my first Overlander. The first one was, I don't want to say it was rushed, but it was every single weekend, uh, not spending much time with my family just to get it done. And uh, I want this one to be a little bit different. I'd like to build this one slow, methodically, and make it um, another step up from where I started. So with every truck, hopefully they'll get a little bit better. And I'm not saying that there will be another one after this one, but you know, if I build this one right and it's everything that I want, uh, this could be the last one I ever make, I don't know. But I know that the, that the Stuart and Stevenson 1079, I love that truck. I, I really have no reason to build another one. It's a great vehicle. It does everything that we needed to do. However, um, there's just that burning desire in me to do better. Um, so that's kind of the route I'm going to go. I want to do another one. I want to do, I want to take everything I learned from the first one, apply it to the second one and make a better overall, uh, truck that my family and I can enjoy. Um, the key things that I, that I want to change, you know, is center of gravity. Um, that's one thing that's kind of huge to me now is making sure that I keep all my weight really low. Um, top speed, you know, you wouldn't think it's that important, but uh, driving the Stewart and Stevenson at 60 miles an hour everywhere you go, that gets, that gets a little old. Sometimes I want to go a little bit faster and I do have gear set that I'm going to put in it, uh, to get it to that higher gear ratio, but that doesn't, to me, that's not a, that's not going to solve everything. You know, it's still a huge truck and driving 60 in it is sometimes too fast. So I wanted a little bit smaller truck that was a little more compact, um, that would get me 
you know, I really don't care about fuel economy. None of that makes any difference to me, but I want to be able to go places efficiently. I want to be comfortable while I do it. And uh, I think this is going to be a really good vehicle, a base for that. So um, I'm going to continue to work on the Stuart and Stevenson. It's not done. You know, it's a, uh, I'd say it's about 75%. There's everything on the exterior needs done. The cab still isn't finished out. Um, you know, the habitat is really the only functional part on it currently. Um, but this one's next in line. So for those of you that are curious, is my 1079 for sale? And the answer is yes. I mean, everything is for sale. Um, do I want to sell it tomorrow? No. <laughs> You know, I've barely used it. I've uh, only had a couple trips in it with my family. So I would definitely like to to use it next summer, minimum until this is built, of course. But if the right uh, amount of money came along, you know, everything's for sale. So um, I'm gonna keep working on it. I'm gonna get started on this. I got a shop to finish building, so I'll be busy. If you guys wanna see any of the content of me working on the shop, um, you know, I'll include that too. I've got a 15,000 pound car lift to put in here, um, big air compressor. I'm gonna run a small uh, uh, gantry style chain hoist. Um, and then, uh, you know, of course the construction of it with the tower crane and telehandlers and all the big machinery that we use to build these things. So uh, if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, we're almost up to a thousand subs. So that's really cool, especially since I haven't recorded in months. So thank you for uh, tuning in. Thank you for watching. And I hope you guys all safe travels and I hope you have a great winter.